Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick video on flashing a FreeSky D4R2 receiver. I've had a number of people ask me how to go about doing this. Um, it's pretty simple, and the reason you would do it is a four channel receiver, essentially, to cut a long story short, running in CPPM mode, it'll allow you to actually have uh, up to eight channels from this little tiny receiver with telemetry. So, really great for little quadcopters as in your 250 size, where uh, as far as real estate goes, you haven't got that much, and running the one servo lead is a lot more beneficial than running uh, eight servo leads, so to speak, or six or thereabouts. But anyway, look, uh, FreeSky have put out a firmware or a patch that actually um, uh, addresses some of the issues with running these in CPPM mode and running more than four channels. Uh, Bruce has got a video which I'll have a link in the description where he actually explains why you would do this but anyway I'm going to go through and step through exactly how you go about doing the firmware update. So the first thing you need is one of these and I've got a link in the description for it. It's available through FreeSky or anyone else that sells it. Now I've got this through uh, Hobby King and um, this is probably the easiest way to actually go about flashing your FreeSky receivers. So this is basically the way the connector looks and the way I have it plugged in. And what I have is, this is the connector that comes with the FreeSky receiver. And basically I've just made a little plug-in connector and that plugs straight into that cable and allows me then to update the uh, firmware. So as you can see, I've got basically black going to black. I've got the red wire going to yellow and the green wire going to the brown. Now this is all documented in the PDF that is uh, provided uh, from FreeSky. That's a D4R2 uh, receiver and all you need to do is put this little jumper in there and that'll put it into bootloader mode and then it's just a matter of plugging in uh, this connector that's provided with the receiver itself into the D4R2 receiver. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is basically download uh, the firmware from the FreeSky website, and I'll have a link in the description for that. And once you unzip it, this is what you'll actually have. I've got the PDF already opened. So the first thing we'll need to do, actually at the top of the PDF, it sort of explains why you're actually doing this. So it's worthwhile having a read through this. Um, first thing we'll do is plug in the USB programmer into the USB port of your computer. Now you won't get this message, I'm getting this because I'm using a Mac. Um, so I'll basically confirm that, that's fine. Uh, what you'll need to do is actually install the drivers for this. And once the drivers are installed and they're detected, you should be pretty much good to go. So we've got the actual program connected. Make sure you short out channel 1 and 2, and this will put your FreeSky D4R2 receiver into bootloader mode. And then what we do from there, so we connect a battery and make sure you get the orientation correct. And we go back to the files that we opened before and we're going to run the EXE. Make sure you select the appropriate port and select the file, which is the firmware file. It'll only be the one and just wait a little bit. Now once it's actually detected this and this changes, it's ready to go and download. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And you've just updated the firmware and it's all good to go. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video guys. Catch us later.